humiliated right after the New York Times' latest Gov report leak, they immediately got crushed by karma. Another day, another lie for the New York Times. On Tuesday, the newspaper ran a front-page article publishing a leaked, quote, climate report that was allegedly being suppressed by the Trump administration. This hit the strands with the usual cries of fascism and anti-science that the left likes to brandy about. Except there was one problem. The report the New York Times published had actually been available for months since January. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, a federal body that studies the climate, also published a copy in March. After this was pointed out, the New York Times issued a correction on Wednesday saying, an article on Tuesday about a sweeping federal climate change report referred incorrectly to the availability of the report. While it was not widely publicized, the report was uploaded by the nonprofit Internet Archive in January. It was not first made public by the New York Times. This is hardly what I would call a proper apology or admission. In fact, the article still says some government scientists were concerned that it would be suppressed by the president. But hey, we got to take what we can get when it comes to the New York Times. As President Trump pointed out the same day the climate report leak was released, Emails show that the um, Amazon Washington Post and the failing New York Times were reluctant to cover the Clinton-Lynch secret meeting in plain. They won't cover this Clinton-Lynch scandal, but will run a climate report that's already been published eight months ago on their front page. These leftists really need to get a grip on reality. If the president were trying to suppress, quote, this climate report, he wouldn't have let NOAA publish it on their website. But the left only sees what they want to see. This time, luckily, they were found out, and they will continue to be found out. Because the left is led by corrupt leaders, the previous leaders, and George Soros. That's basically what it boils down to. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.